Good morning, Jim. Hello. Uh, well, I'd like to hear a bit, wee bit more positivity. Go on, then. the illegal immigration. Go, go on, then. The stage is yours. Thank you. Well, I, I, I don't actually agree with the Rwanda policy, but there is no alternative, James. I'm married to a, a lady from Asia. She paid to come here. She's nursing. I've no problem with migration. I think the clue is in the word illegal. No, no, the no, cue is in the word asylum or safe route. So no, if they don't come by the boats, how do they come here? No, James, no. A lot of those economic migrants come in by the boats. But how, how do you find out whether they are bona fide asylum seekers or not? Well, they have to go through, a, obviously, be looked at. I mean, at the end of the day... And at the end of that the... process, of course, they cease to be either legal or illegal. They are either but asylum... At the end of the day, if, if it's illegal, it's illegal. So what's the legal way? The legal way is to get a visa. No, or if you're a refugee. You can go to a British if, embassy. If you're a ref, no, you can't. Wait, yes, you can. No, I promise you, you can't. If you've come out of Afghanistan or Syria, or if you're fleeing from, we have embassies in Italy. We have em embassies. You can't apply in for Holland. asylum in. I mean, you, I mean, we can sit here all day, David. Yes. And remember, you're here to provide positivity. We can of sit course. here all day, and you can say that all of these people crossing the Channel in boats could instead have gone to the embassy in Paris and applied for asylum, and it never becomes true, however many times you say it. Well, we have to do something about it, James. And at the end of yes, the day... so you open up safe routes? Yes. So, so safe routes, what, for le illegal immigrants? No, safe routes to establish whether an application is credible or not. Because when we do that, it turns out and about 70 to 80% of the people apply are genuine asylum seekers. What, from Bangladesh, Pakistan? They're, they're not in any danger. But how do you know? You can, get, you can get killed in some countries for being gay. You can, you can be killed here. Well, we, yes, we have but, terrible crime here. Okay. We've been trapped. There was a lad that died here. Yes, if it was, was against stabbed. the law to be to be gay, hey, David, you're now talking about a lad that got stabbed, and you're here to provide positivity. So I'll give yes, you another. Migrant, I'll give you another chance. I'll give you another yes. chance to provide some positivity that you wanted. Well, at the end of the day, I don't see that this government has another alternative uh, from the Rwanda policy. Now, I think earlier on you but it, mentioned but it doesn't work. it's got a different government power. Where's how the do you know it doesn't work? Where's, well, how many people have we sent to Rwanda? We haven't sent any yet. Well, that's how I know it doesn't but work. If, but if we get the policy through and we block said, at the end of the day, we have lawyers here. Yes, and uh, they've said it's illegal. <sighs> Who pays for these lawyers? The taxpayers. They're making good hay well, out the of government has spent three hundred million. The government has spent £300 million pounds of your not money today, on lawyers. It hasn't. It hasn't, not, not yet. It, I believe it's spent 140, and I believe there's another no, no, 100 no, million. Three, mi three million pounds on lawyers fighting the law. And you know what happens when you fought the law? David. No, the, 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 the law bottom won. line is we, we need we need obviously an amendments in law right. so that we can deal with that situation. There's okay. no problem with legal migration. No, you it's keep coming back to that, migration. and I'm still waiting for the positivity. Well, the other the other thing is you, you, you're going about Brexit, and I, and I feel quite. No, we're not talking about Brexit today. Vote. Yes, and yes, but that came about because the people of Britain wanted sovereignty, they wanted to choose. No, it didn't. It, it came about because people of Britain wanted to take back control and they wanted correct. to reduce immigration and they wanted to improve the cost of living. So how's that working out for you, David, in Hull? Well... Let's go through it one by one. The what's, the current, the what's the current the immigration economy. figure? The immigration figure this year yeah. is about 760,000. And what was it before Brexit? Oh, I'll guarantee you it was, it was lower than that, yes. Correct, so that didn't work. How's the, cost of, how's the cost of living working out for you? You can't tie that to Brexit. Of course you, you can, that's what you happened. voted no, for. No. And now you're Pakistan offended that people think you're stupid. No, no. So what's the biggest Pakistan, benefit you got? Pakistan is a country who's in... I mean, I think it's going for its 23rd bailout, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, what's you talking about now, Pakistan? That's correct. We have migrant, illegal migrants coming from Pakistan. But how you wanted to talk about Brexit? No, no, no. Brexit yes, yes, yes. A, no, it was mentioned by your other callers. Yes, it was mentioned, mentioned by you a minute well. ago. You said you keep going yes, on about Brexit you and you were going to say something interesting. What was it? The th interesting thing about Brexit, yeah. that, that was a democratic vote. Yes, for? We really want... Well, there was a lot of Labour voters. So what's the, biggest, what's, what's the biggest win for you? What's been the biggest improvement to your life since you voted for Brexit? As a consequence I, of Brexit. I didn't vote for Brexit. Rubbish. I've, sorry? Rubbish. Uh, James, that, that David. you shouldn't... No, James, listen. No, I, I am listening, David. Brexit. Well, I, I think vote. you did. I didn't vote. You didn't vote at all? No, I didn't. OK. Uh, it's a long story, James, which, is, which I, I couldn't really explain. I, I had to leave 
we, we, me and my family had to leave Scotland. Uh, we were witnessing the HMRC case. We came down to Hull here. We've gone through the system. It's been an absolute nightmare. What's the worst I, policy of your life that a government has introduced? The worst policy of my life that government has introduced... I think there's been many. I haven't seen many positive. Uh, to be perfectly well, honest, you were supposed to be providing positive. I wrote to Gordon Brown in 2008. I don't. I'd and sorry, I mentioned mate. to him. I, I, I mentioned to him we needed a national house building program. Okay. I don't, I, listen, I don't want to sound on. Okay. You've put me in a very uncomfortable position, David. It's 10:47. I've got to go to a break. What? Can you remember why you rang in? Yes, because oh. I was offended by what the, the. I was offended by your broadcast, and you seem to be very. But anti- what were you offended by? Well, you seem to go on about the migration. There's a legal migration. We're talking about Rwanda failing. and So what did you ring in to say? The question is, what's the worst policy that you've witnessed in your life? Or how did Rishi Sunak get into such a mess over this particular policy? I'm not a supporter of Sunak. No, but what what did you ring in for? I rang in because I was offended, basically. I'm listening to this all the time. There's no positivity. No, but you were going to to provide some positivity. Exactly. Where would you send these migrants, the illegal migrants that shouldn't be here? Where would you send them? Well, I don't know that they shouldn't be here until their asylum process has been, um, well, their application the has been processed. Let's the process. And well, then, 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 they, then you process. can send them back to their country of origin. And no, we could we do that under the Dublin no, Convention. We can't. No, we, could, we can't. Well, we can. There have been, no. There's no, we been, can. There's many have been refused visas. They're it's, still here illegally. Yes, and we but you, we are legally them. entitled to remove these people. No. Yes, Dave. David, why are we having a phone in from 1974? James, David. when did you ever hear of anyone doing anything illegal and then that becoming legal? Well, Rishi so Sunak did it yesterday. Illegal, Rishi Sunak did it yesterday. How? how it, it, was, it was illegal to send people to Rwanda and then he is going to pass a, and then he was going to pass a law in the House of Commons to make it legal. How is it legal? Because how it's not it a safe country. Our Supreme Court how has decided No, you said earlier it's a different government, it's a different country now. No, no but the that, basement the ba- I, David, I can't do this anymore. I'm really sorry you're offended, but I think it's a I think it might be a you problem rather than a me problem.